for Yuzhna State Design Office, the year 2021st was both a year of new trials and a year of new opportunities. Alexander Gushnerov became the head of the company, which is adapting to the global changes caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic, mobilizing its resources, adapting to new tools for the company's activities, and continuing fruitful cooperation with its partners. These years saw two launches of the Antares launch vehicle, which put into orbit regular consignments of payloads for the International Space Station at the request of NASA. The launch vehicles were processed for launch, tested and launched with the participation of specialists from Yuzhne State Design Office and Yuzhne Machine Building Plant. In real time, our specialists provided technical support to the launches and the telemetry reception and processing. Two sets of hardware for the future launch vehicles were also manufactured and sent to the customer. The European Vega Lightweight rocket was successfully launched three times, delivering 14 spacecraft into orbit. The next 10 main engines are being manufactured at Yuzhne Machine Building Plant. As part of the project to upgrade and expand the operational capabilities of the Vega launch vehicle, the continuing cooperation with Avia SPA is aimed at providing engineering services and supplying components that will be part of the rocket engines for the new Vega C launch vehicle. The first launch of the upgraded Vega C is scheduled for next year. Production and testing of the Ukrainian spacecraft Siege 2 1 has been completed. The satellite was sent to the Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral. It has been integrated with the SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle to be launched in January 2022. Together with Yuzhne Machine Building Plant and cooperating companies, Yuzhne is working to recover technical availability and extend the service life of existing weapons. There were two successful launches of Tochka U missiles, equipped with emergency flight termination and telemetry control systems developed by Yuzhne. A few test launches of 122mm caliber Typhoon 1 missiles developed for the Grad multiple launch rocket systems were performed, including missiles with multi-cases made at the rotational spinning shop floor. Testing of the components continues. Creating a controllable version of the missile projectile has been started. Work began on creating advanced loitering munitions and unmanned aerial vehicles designed to kill a wide range of targets using a modern tactical deployment plan. Functional demonstration of a pulsed electromagnetic radiation generator was performed in the field as part of counter UAV technology development. The generator design is currently being finalized. Research and development work is underway to create an anti-aircraft guided missile, command control vehicle, self-propelled launcher and a radar pass to support and guide the Kilcheng anti-aircraft missile system. A deep upgrade on the hard-fire test facility was completed in cooperation with Yuzhna Machine Building Plant and the first model of the main engine on some semi-cryogenic propellants was manufactured. Preparation for the hard-fire tests is underway. A prototype of an engine for a free-armed propulsion system was developed, its laboratory tests completed. Ordered by Maritime Launch Services, a Canadian-owned commercial aerospace company, practical implementation of the project to develop a Cyclone 4M launch vehicle and build a spaceport along the Atlantic coastline of Nova Scotia has begun. The project received support from both the governments of two countries and potential customers and investors.
during the meeting between the heads of the space agencies of Ukraine and Canada, a joint statement was signed to celebrate the partnership in space between Yuzhna SDO, Yuzhna Machine Building Plant and MLS. A presentation of the design for the future spaceport command center and a ceremony of laying the first stone were held in November 2021. The command center is named after Alexander Dekteryov. MLS signed a contract for the first launch of the Ukrainian launch vehicle. Work is underway to define the optimal configuration and improve the performance of the Cyclone 5 medium lift launch vehicle with a reusable first stage. A preliminary design of a high-resolution optical observation satellite based on the USAT bus has been completed. A conceptual design of an ultra-high-resolution optical observation spacecraft is in progress. A feasibility study of an air space complex based on an L-76 aircraft carrying a launch vehicle with hybrid and liquid propellant engines is in progress. The development of a family of lunar landers continues. Yuzhna continues to implement new technologies to manufacture metal and composite structures. Active communication with representatives of the world business community in the space domain continues. Yuzhna Design Office employees became members of the Global Expert Group on Sustainable Lunar Activities at the Moon Village Association. The name of the General Director of Yuzhna Design Office, Vice President of the International Astronautical Federation for Industry Relations, Academician of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, Academician of the International Astronautical Academy, Hero of Ukraine, Alexander Dekteryov, has been included in the International Astronautical Federation Hall of Fame. Cooperation with the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine continues. The Coordination Councils for Organization of Joint Work held their traditional meetings. New management and updating working groups were approved. The presence of Yuzhne SDO at the International Academy of Astronautics was augmented by four corresponding members. In 2021, the company employees defended one doctoral dissertation, six dissertations for the degree of Candidate of Sciences, one dissertation for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the field of Engineering Sciences. By the decree of the President of Ukraine, Mihailo Bondar was awarded the Order of Married Second Class. The resolution of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine awarded the prize to young scientists for the project development of a lightweight all-composite propellant tank for cryogenic propellants. The project development of state-of-the-art materials for heat-resistant and heat-protective aviation and aerospace structures was awarded the National Prize of Ukraine named after Boris Paton. Elections of the new Council of Yuzhna Employees Association were held in 2021. Holiday seasons in the resort hotels Lisny and Sokil and the children's holiday camp Zorani took place in compliance with all quarantine restrictions. Yuzhna's unique scientific and technical potential and the high level of technological equipment, reliability and competitive advantage of the engineering developments and clear development priorities allow us to successfully compete in the international market and form a reliable basis for the implementation of all that we plan.